Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. First, we're going to go ahead and start off with our beauty update, and I'm going to give you guys a short rundown on what has gone on the past couple of days, but more so, we're going to focus on her new man. Has she finally found the one? And then we'll briefly touch on the situation with you know who. Lastly, I wanted to give an update on Becky, and then we're going to talk about ALR's brand new video. She tells us about her relationship with Wifey and how she is doing post-fall. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys, for the beginning of the video, I wanted to go ahead with our foodie follow up. These past couple of days have been an absolute roller coaster, but it is the type of roller coaster that goes really fast and then at other times it slows to a crawl. I think that pretty much describes the whole situation when it comes to our ex mukbang princess turned in real life live streamer. Could you guys imagine live streaming that much? I feel like this is something that would be pretty much unheard of back in the day but now it's actually quite common. A lot of people do this for a job, but I don't know how many that just live their everyday life on live. Like usually they're playing video games or something, right? It's perfectly healthy and normal to have your own private life off camera. Anybody who puts that much of their life online is going to face criticism. Humans are far from perfect, but I think what makes her the figure that she has become today is her inability to respond rationally to even the slightest critique. Yesterday was payday for our girl, so of course that completely shifts the mood and the pacing of our storyline. She was very grumpy for the longest time because... I guess she was low on funds, allegedly. I wouldn't be surprised if she plays it up for the cameras so people will send supers, you know? She went shopping and made this community tab. I don't care if I don't get views making private bees streams at all. Worth it. Anyways, payday so huge. Shopping today with P later, I will spoil him, so see you soon. So she has said that she paid all her bills and now she's going to spoil Pete. She did go shopping, but Pete's didn't come. You know how that goes. He always plays second fiddle to these men. As we predicted a few days ago here on Girl Talk, we are now getting Montreal content again, and the men have returned. It is interesting slash suspicious timing, don't you think? Why don't some of these men help her out for a change? She didn't end up streaming anything last night because she was with one of her mans named Tony. We've heard about him before, but I think she posted a picture of him lying beside her in bed once. She did that with him and motorcycle guy who is seemingly out of the picture now. So check out these pics from the night on the community tab. She hasn't been in the best mood lately because she doesn't have that many people in her lives at the moment. Live streams. She came on live this morning for her coffee bees in Montreal, and she's telling people about her time with Tony. Some people never learn. She says that last time she left in the morning without telling him, and he was worried about her safety. This guy has his own place, a car, a job, and Christian Louboutin shoes. He's also a little bit older than her. She feels immature for him, which is a new thing for Foodie. Okay, that sounds good on the surface, but I have to question her judge of character based on y'all know what. She says that she is falling for him. It took her a bit of time, but she likes Tony more and more. I just wonder if things were so good, why is he only hanging out with her now that she has money again? Tony is night and day compared to you know who. I'm not going to use his name for now because of everything going down. I also wonder why she's back doing this live stream when she claimed that there was only going to be recorded content and private members only lives. JK, we knew she couldn't resist. She mentions that she didn't end up having dinner last night, but he did offer her something. Is that a red flag? You gotta feed your woman. So like I said, this guy is from Montreal. She is still searching for love in that city. She says that in the past, she made plans with Tony, but she would never make it there because she would stop in at Lachine to visit you-know-who, and she would end up playing third wheel to them all night. Jeez, how sad is that? I'm just stating facts. Chantal says that she doesn't want to bring Tony into the girl world cinematic universe, but I smell a new side character. 
For those of you relatively new to the community or if you want a quick refresher, here's a quick dating timeline with featured side characters. She initially came on YouTube dating a man known to her audience only as BB. BB broke up with her in early 2020, right before the world was turned upside down, if you know what I mean. She moved in with her ex Peace, whom she initially met in high school. Now, they're more like brother and sister, or should I say mother and child. She remained single until she started serial dating in April May 2021 and ended up meeting you-know-who, and thus ensuing a year-long downward spiral that continues today. Notable side pieces include Roman L. Roman, Motorcycle Guy Big Turk, and finally Tony, who seems to be here to stay for now. There was a few more, but oh well. All right, you guys, I wanted to briefly touch upon the situation that is currently tearing this community apart. I'm talking about the strikes that he is putting on so many different creators. I noticed yesterday that he hit prominent community members, Barbecue Chicken and YouTube Underground, two creators whom I know for a fact fall under fair use with their content. At this point, I can't watch or listen to anything with his face or voice in it. I'm so angry and genuinely sick over this. She, aka D, is also involved in this. In fact, I believe that she is the one orchestrating it and putting in the work to make this happen because we know that he isn't really too good with technology. Okay, so for the rest of the video, I wanted to do an update on ALR and Becky. First, let's start off with Becky. Do you guys think she has a response video in the works in regards to the situation with Amber calling her out on Instagram? Well, she does have something in the works, but something came up. Let's take a look at this community tab. Hey everyone, I've got two videos I'm editing and one I'm going to film, but I've been sick these last few days. Pretty sure it's COVID but my test was negative, so they did a second test and I'll get those results back in a few days. Can you send me good vibes? I had an interview Monday and now I don't think I can go to it and it's just another wrench in my leg. Nothing had been going good, but I'm trying to keep on keeping on. Just send me some positive vibes if you can. I feel like I'm dying. Okay, so when it comes to this situation with Becky, I'm not sure. I know ALR has to be the last thing on her mind right now, but but it's possible that one of those videos that she's working on could be a response. You never know. Nothing seems to be going right for Becky these days. I hope that she feels better soon. Send some love to Becky, y'all. I wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about ALR's new video. I don't think I'm going to be doing a reaction to this one, but I have some thoughts. Too many thoughts. So Amber comes on with an update about her injury. She seems to be in better spirits now that it's been six days since the incident. Amber decided to do a Q&A because her mobility has been affected. She's been struggling lately with anxiety because she feels as though this situation is going to set her back after all the progress she has made on Ozempic. She says that right now she can't even step on a scale. I'm scared for ALR. At this time, I think that this could really put a wrench in her plans. She has said on Insta that she can walk, but she's trying to be off her feet as much as possible to aid healing. Amber talks about her relationship with wifey and says that she has never felt this connected. When you know, you know. You know. Do I hear wedding bells off in the distance? It was really nice to hear. See, Amber, you can talk about your new relationship without putting down the old one. People were kind of worried for Amber there in the beginning, not knowing this woman's true intentions with our girl. She says, this is the most amazing relationship she has ever been in. Better than destiny, y'all. She's been passing the time by doing plenty of questions on Instagram. To be honest, I took the time to look at them, but I didn't find many of them interesting. The only one that stuck out to me is she said that she talked to an actress for from Deadpool that reached out to her, and that's the biggest celebrity she's ever spoken to. Remember in the past, she said that there was a celebrity in her building? Whatever came of that. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day, and that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from the previous Girl Talk video. This comment comes in from Jada, who says the following. She may have a point with Destiny. We watched Dana blow up as well with Destiny, and now that they aren't together anymore, Dana is on a WLJ. ALR and Dana are both adults and are responsible for their own weights, but Destiny is definitely a feeder. So what do you guys think about this observation? I have heard this time and time again when it comes to Destiny. Although keep in mind, I do think that Destiny likes to eat out as well in a restaurant. 
And sometimes when couples get together, they just get comfortable and putting on a little bit of weight is just something that happens to the best of us. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.